Alright YouTubers, good stuff! It's London Onion finally back with another class review and guide for Defiance 2050. And in this review we're going to be discussing the Demolitionist class. Now there is always multiple ways to use a given class, and consequently anything I say is debatable and to be taken with two grains of salt. Our main focus will be on the class skills and how the combination of skills can best benefit the user and their weapon loadout. Alright, so the Demolitionist is like the bigger, more aggressive version of the Assassin. Demolitionists have a focus on high damage but with less precision and a greater orientation to eliminating multiple foes at once. Think Demo Man from Team Fortress 2. Just like the Crusader, there seems to be two different paths down the skill tree for two somewhat different playstyles. I'll call these the Blitzkrieg and the Drone. The Blitzkrieg is oriented towards getting close and personal, unleashing as much damage as possible. Drones keep their distance and have a more tactical slash less risky edge. Technically, no class is locked into any particular loadout, but for the purpose of consistency, the class build will be constructed with the assumed loadout of rocket launchers and detonators. This would make the most sense for this class anyway, in my opinion. So, the first skill is the Satchel Charge. A high damage explosive that can be stuck to any surface and detonated at the player's will. When maxed out, the satchel charge takes 30 seconds to cool down. The charge is essentially a glorified detonator, but with much more damage. In my experience, it fulfills a very niche role, whether one wants to cover a spawn area, a corridor, or hold down a siege point to prevent capture. Technically, it can just be thrown in the open to act as a second grenade, but the risk of missing is significantly increased and could be a waste. On a minor note, if one lines up their synergies correctly, they could actually enhance the damage output of the satchel charge. After detonation, an additional three more explosive projectiles come out and cause extra damage. So our first three-way junction consists of Long Boom, Blast Shield, and Fast Blast. Long Boom increases the radius of explosions by a maximum of 20%. Blast Shield reduces damage from self-inflicted explosions by a maximum of 90%, and Fast Blast grants a 25% increase in reload speed for 5 seconds upon killing an enemy with an explosive. This perk also comes with a 30 second cooldown. Now, typically I don't invest in perks that aid in aspects like reload speed and recoil reduction, as there are already modifications that aid in this regard. However, launchers tend to have a long reload time and could possibly use the extra help. But one's choice amongst this junction will depend on their playstyle. As for Blast Shield, I'm not a fan of increasing my own risk to double down on damage output. Playing as a Demolitionist will likely be a messy job, and it is easy to inflict damage on oneself. This perk essentially incentivizes enduring point-blank explosions for maximum damage output. Long Boom moreover incentivizes aiming for groups of opponents, while maximizing accident forgiveness. Demolitionists who take on the Blitzkrieg role would likely prefer Blast Shield. Drones, however, can either invest in Fast Blast or Long Boom. My playstyle is more like a drone, and I won't say that Fast Blast is a bad perk, but I would prefer to maximize Long Boom. Technically, one can attempt to split their skills in this junction, but the numbers aren't very significant in my opinion. So for first tier, I choose Long Boom. Our next junction is interesting. We have Flashbang and Hatchling Spawner. The Flashbang perk stuns enemies for a maximum of 5 seconds with a cooldown of 30 seconds. The Hatchling Spawner is a grenade that spawns a maximum of 8 small critters that essentially suicide bomb nearby targets. 
I can't really say which skill is better than the other, as it really comes down to the enemies one faces and their playstyle. Flashbangs are effective on weak and, it seems, some tough enemies, which can provide a very good window for an onslaught. Troublesome enemies like a Grid Inquisitor or Vulge Soldiers can be immediately stopped for a brief period of time. On the other hand though, I've had an issue with using stun grenades on Hellbug Monarchs. It seems as though sometimes they get stunned, but other times they just keep going. Maybe I'm just throwing it wrong, but I can't really tell. There doesn't seem to be much consistency with this grenade. Hatchlings, on the other hand, make very light work of weak enemies and allow damage to be done with minimal intervention from the user. Personally, I like both skills, but as a drone player, I have a slight preference to hatchlings, as throwing them does not require much precision. Once they spawn, they seek out enemies. The flashbang, however, can miss or simply not hit as many enemies as desired, or just have an inconsistent effect, as I recently said. As far as playstyles go, hatchlings would be more fitting for drone players, while the flashbang would go in harmony with Blitzkrieg maneuvers. Our next tier consists of Rocket Reflexes, Detonator Accelerator, and Grenadier. Rocket Reflexes increases Rocket Launcher reload speed by a maximum of 15%. Detonator Accelerator increases fire rate on detonators by a maximum of 10%, and Grenadier increases primary grenade damage by a maximum of 15 Now, these perks all seem to be on the insignificant side, but the first two obviously reward a particular loadout. Considering the cooldown time of grenades, the Grenadier perk is a low priority perk, but can potentially be paired with another skill, or multiple skills I should say, further down the tree. For the other two perks, chances are drone type players use rockets, while blitzers use detonators. Regardless, no one perk is significantly better than the other. It comes down to loadout. I tend to favor rockets, but always keep a detonator as a backup. In my opinion, detonators already fire fast enough and 10% is not that significant. So I go with rocket reflexes, as the least useless perk in this tier. For those that carry both launchers and detonators, splitting the class points is really not worth the reward. Our next tier perks are Disorient, Drop and Roll, and Odd Man Out. Disorient slows a hit enemy by a maximum of 55% for 3 seconds with a cooldown of 20 seconds. This perk can be very effective if paired with the flashbang and is carried out with a detonator. Additionally, chances are a blitzer would be more captivated by this perk and is most effective against tough enemies. Anyone that uses a launcher would likely spend the 3 seconds slowdown reloading their weapon. Drop and roll leaves a grenade at one's feet upon performing a roll. When maximized, the cooldown is a mere 10 seconds. As one could guess, this perk directly incentivizes close range combat as a blitzer. Drone type players would rarely take full advantage of this skill. Oddman Out seems to favor launcher users, especially those with a lock-on feature. Oddman Out increases damage done by explosives to one target by a maximum of 25%. As a drone-type player, I prefer Oddman Out. Additionally, this perk can be paired with Grenadier to create a 40% damage increase on a single target, but with the cooldown of grenades, it's up to the user to decide if the damage increase is worth more than the other perks. The final junction is between Cluster Projectiles and Grenade Barrage. Cluster Projectiles buff one's explosions to release a maximum cluster of 5 additional explosives for more damage for 10 seconds. This skill can create a massive rally of explosive damage and make very light work of most enemies. Anyone carrying a detonator would have the most fun as it is pretty much a 10 second race to expel all of one's explosives. 
Grenade Barrage instantly refreshes one's grenade and increases cooldown speed by 90% for a maximum of 15 seconds. I think the only way this perk rivals with cluster projectiles is if the Grenadier, Odd Man Out, and Long Boom perks were maximized. But even then, the carnage of cluster projectiles is unparalleled, regardless of playstyle. So I say, cluster projectiles. As I stated, there is no one way to use a class, but I think these are the two main ways the class is best used to optimize its strengths without squandering too much. Drone players are more risk averse and would likely gravitate toward using launchers as their primary while keeping a healthy distance. The pure drone skill set would be Long Boom, Hatchling Spawner, Rocket Reflexes, Odd Man Out, and Cluster Projectiles. The pure Blitzkrieg skill set would be Blast Shield, Flashbang, Detonator Accelerator, Drop and Roll, or possibly Disorient, and Cluster Projectiles. So those are, in this Onion's opinion, the Demolitionist builds. I personally enjoy using the Demolitionist class, and I think there are very few flaws with it. The skill tree plays to its distinguished strengths and role while not being overpowered. And there is no one way to construct one's tree. Each tier has valuable alternatives as opposed to two lame options and a superior one, as that did happen with the Assassin class. I'm still an Assassin fan, but Demolitionist is a solid pass in my book. Other than that, that concludes the review. Thanks for watching, and you can continue on with your life.